Hi there, I'm Courtney Williams with the Houston Broncos team, and welcome to our Mortgage Minute, where we bring you burning mortgage real estate questions. We've invited our resident expert, Jackie with Rocket Mortgage, so grab a comfy seat and let's get started. Jackie, what happens when you're pre-approved with Rocket Mortgage? They'll splice it together. Okay. At Rocket, we have a really neat process with our verified approval letter. Um, again, that just means that an underwriter has already gone and reviewed all your credit, your income documents, and your asset documentations, and has stated that you're approved for a loan amount of X dollars. Now, once that happens, you can go into your Rocket Mortgage account on your own, and you can adjust that home price lower if you need to if you're looking to negotiate uh, you can generate your own verified approval letter at any point in time if you're out on a weekend with Courtney and you want to make an offer um, it just gives you a lot more autonomy over when you're out there shopping fantastic well, Jackie this has been great information and one last question for you are there any questions that you should ask your mortgage broker up front when you start talking to them Absolutely. Um, you should always ask your loan officer, I would always say, you know, how long have you been in the business? What kind of products do you have? Uh, how will the process work? That's probably the best one because most people don't really know how the lending process works. And so if a loan officer can explain it to you with relative ease and transparency, that'll definitely give you a lot more peace of mind. Um, another thing that I would always ask is, you know, how available are you going to be? Uh, this is uh, someone's biggest purchase that they're ever going to make in their lives. Even if it's your second home, it's still your largest purchase. And sometimes buyers are gonna need a little bit more hand-holding. And if a loan officer knows that up front, then we can definitely prepare. Some buyers don't ever wanna to talk to you, um, which those are great too, about those. <laughs> <laughs> but other, other uh, home buyers just, they just want a little bit more information. Again, they just need a little bit more hand-holding. So just kind of, Ask your loan officers the questions that'll set the proper expectations between that relationship because we're all working together as a team to be able to get the buyer into their brand new home and we want to make it the easiest, less stressful process as we possibly can. Sounds like communication is essential. It is key. And one last thing, how do I lock in my interest rate when I'm ready? That's really up to the loan officer. Um, if you are comfortable with the interest rate and with any discount points that were given at the time of you signing your loan disclosure package, at the time you know everything was disclosed, then just tell your loan officer, hey, I wanna lock it in right now. Um, especially if you've already gotten that verified approval process done, then you know, we've already gotten the hard part out of the way. So we can lock a rate in for 30 days and the probability of us closing is extremely high. Uh, if you maybe wanna hedge your bets a little bit and kind of see what the market might do, see if it might improve a little bit, let your loan officer know, hey, maybe don't lock in my rate right now. I wanna float it. Uh, and we can kind of just watch the market and see. But it's really, again, it's really just the communication between you and your loan officer. It's just setting those right expectations. So that way, you know, we're all working together towards the same goal. And when you say float your rate, what does that mean? That means that your interest rate is not locked yet. So let's say I've got a client who, when I disclosed their loan documents, we had a seven and a half interest rate. And this particular client was thinking, well, I think the market might get better. So I think I could maybe get a lower interest rate than seven and a half, or maybe I can get that seven and a half with fewer discount points or something along those lines. They might wanna wait and see if there's an improvement in the market. Now, if you do float your interest rate, as much as there's a chance that it could improve, you also have to know that you are hedging your bets that it could worsen. 
Um, so that's always a possibility. That's why typically, if everything looks good when we send out those loan documents, we like to lock you in right away. But again, it's always up to the buyer. All right, Jackie. Well, thank you so much for the information. So, so much great detail today. And guys, that's a wrap for our Mortgage Minute with Courtney Williams and Jackie Sager. And if you would like to know more about Rocket Mortgage and want to start your home buying journey today, just click the link below and we'll see you on our next episode. <laughs> Bye.